Hi, this is Dylan and here is another video about teaching business English. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the big six functions of business English. Business English learners have a variety of needs, some of which are very specific. However, many of their needs fall into the following six categories. Meetings, presentations, negotiations, telephoning, writing and socialising. I'm now going to discuss each function in turn. Most of us, I know I do, spend much of our working day in meetings. And many of our business English learners have meetings in their own language as well as English. Now these meetings may be formal, a meeting with a potential investor, a monthly team meeting, a meeting of shareholders and so on. Others are more informal, discussing an issue with a colleague, asking for help from the IT department, having a, an unplanned brainstorming session with other members of your project team. These meetings may be internal with colleagues or external with clients or suppliers. And of course, many meetings, perhaps the majority now, are online using tools like MS Team, Zoom and so on. And there is a subcategory of meetings which includes things like interviews and performance reviews. Now, some of our learners may need to give presentations. Again, these may be formal at conferences or seminars or to prospective clients. And they may be informal weekly updates with team members. And so some of our learners may have a need for just one type, but others may need specific public speaking training. Negotiations are another key function. Now, you may think that only certain business English learners, such as people working in sales or high level managers, may need to develop their ability to negotiate effectively and successfully in English. Now, these are high stakes negotiations, but of course, all employees have to negotiate their salaries, job responsibilities, task deadlines, and even how they work with colleagues and other departments. Telephoning can be both challenging and scary in a second language. Communication is more difficult due to the lack of nonverbal signals such as facial expressions and gestures. Telephoning protocol varies between cultures too, and our learners need to learn how to sound polite and respectful. Now, of course, conference calling with tools again such as MS Teams and Zoom is far more common now. And using these effectively involves a whole new set of skills and behavioural norms. Our learners normally have to do some writing in English. And writing clear and concise emails is usually a must. Furthermore, some learners may need to write reports, commercial writing such as sales copy and adverts, and even technical documents such as contracts or manuals. And the final function is socialising. Many business English learners perform their jobs effectively in English, but struggle when they have to make small talk or participate in networking events. Even having a coffee with a client after a successful negotiation may be difficult and uncomfortable for some. In fact, successful outcomes in some negotiations may be dependent on social skills. So there we have it. There are, of course, other functions that may need to be addressed in your business English courses, but the big six of meetings, presentations, negotiations, telephoning and conference calling, writing, especially emails and socialising will cover the needs of many learners. I hope you found this short video useful and please share and subscribe. Have a great day.